as we are awaiting questions, I'm actually going to pull up a um, question that I had from an agent of mine, uh, Thomas. Uh, Thomas is doing very well selling predominantly final expense. He does sell some non-med simplified issue stuff as well to younger audiences. And here's his question. What's going on, Dave? One thing I have not seen you or anyone else talk about is paper management and workflow management. A process that shows an agent how to bring a paper app home and process it for his or her records, file cabinets, secure hard drive, scrubbing apps. Even with e-apps, you still have the PDF version of the app that you should easily get be accessible to an agent in the event of service work event service work happens. So this is a really good topic to talk about. Um, again, one of the things you can hear a lot more from me is the importance of following up on your clientele. Uh, if there's one thing I didn't do very well when I was full time in the field, it was following up with my clientele on a regular, you know, one to two year, uh, once twice a year basis. Um, for additional sales opportunities as well and as what I'm going to really be focusing and encouraging agents to do is for the Medicare passive income renewal opportunity. Uh, your final expense clients are generally all on a fixed income, drawing Social Security, therefore on Medicare. They make great Medicare prospects. And some of the easiest people to sell more insurance to are the ones already bought from you, right? So it pays to keep records, like Thomas said here, so how do you do it effectively? So the first things first is you always need to keep a copy of the application with you. The worst thing you can do is send off an app and not have some hard copy or electronic copy. Uh, why is that the case? Well, what if the company goes out of business? Uh, for example, Settlers got out of the final expense business. I don't know if you can access the old applications or the old client list that were available online, but there are companies I've done business with that pulled out of the market and I have no way to get to my customer list if, if that was the only way that I had stored my information, right? So you need to do an on-site at home or at office uh, storing of your uh, paperwork. I would recommend uh, a digital store. Make sure you back it up with some sort of secure hard drive. You want redundancy, meaning it's okay to have multiple saves of the same file in case one of the systems crashes. Again, one is the loneliest number in this business. So uh, that helps overcome that. Um, also, as far as organizing it, the best thing you can do, now you can do this manually. Over time as you get busier, you can find a very affordable uh, virtual assistant online that can type all this information in on the client, their company they're with, the coverage amount, the rate, what Medicare coverage they have, and they'll do it all for you for super cheap. Um, and then create either a CRM. Uh, I, I keep it simple. I use Google Spreadsheets or use Google Spreadsheets to keep track of my clients and paid somebody else to put it all on there. Uh, and then we would just call down that list. So uh, it's better though if you use a simple CRM. Like I like one page CRM or less annoying CRM uh, dot com for both. Uh, just because they're inexpensive, they're like 10 bucks a month. And uh, you can manage everything within that uh, uh, software. And it's uh, web-based, so you can access it from different uh, you know, devices of yours. So um, yeah, uh, as far as scrubbing apps, if you're still taking home paper apps, my recommendation is before scanning it and uploading a digital copy to your computer, scrub the thing three times, okay? I would literally sit down with an application and go line by line, looking down at each of the details, taking my time, resisting the urge to rush through it, right? And then take the page over and do the same thing. And then after I did that, um, I, would make mis I would make the correction, set it over here in another pile. Once I got done with my first scrubbing, I would go back through it and look at it maybe a little less closely, but just in case I missed anything. And then there are many times where if I didn't do that second scrub, I would run into all sorts of situations uh, to try to recover from, you know, having to go back out and do amendments, having to go back out and see the client sell the deal. And yes, I lost deals because I wasn't thorough on the scrubbing part. So uh, don't, uh, don't scrub with distractions. Uh, find a quiet space. I used to do it first thing in the morning, like five to seven o'clock in the morning just because that's your money. That's your bank deposit. You don't want to screw that up. Okay, cool. So continuing on, Thomas says, that's where I'm at now. I got a file cabinet full of apps, paper apps, and I'm having to dig through to do service work. I'm still trying to come up with a predictable process. 
the way my office set up now is a mixed process uh, labor intense. But I think it's a good topic, especially new agents who only have for 200 apps sitting around looking at them. Yeah. Yeah. Again, kind of the CRM strategy here is prior preparation leads to success. Uh, if you get used to the process of inputting data into a CRM or paying somebody else to do it, um, it gets done. Otherwise, it will pile up. Uh, one of my friends in the business, Lee Bar Martinez out of California, he always used to say, I've got four filing cabinets you know, with four different drawers stuffed full with uh, people that I've sold insurance to over the last 30 years. And his strategy, uh, talk about simple, is he would just randomly take a stack and start calling through his clients and just uh, checking in to see how they're doing, ask them about beneficiaries if they're happy, and then, oh, by the way, ask for referrals. So, you know, any system is better than no system. The one thing you want to avoid is overcomplicating these types of CRM systems and management systems. It doesn't need to be overly complicated. It shouldn't take a lot of time of yours to process applications and input them. And I would argue as soon as you're making money in this business and you've got excess left over after paying your bills, it is a wise investment to find somebody who will actually do this kind of grunt work. Uh, it is not the activity that pays us the most. What pays us the most is what we need to spend all of our time doing as feasible as possible. And what is that, guys? That is selling in front of your clients, seeing the people, right? We want to outsource the activities that aren't necessarily critical to our success. They're not so much critical. They're definitely critical to scrubbing app. But somebody else can be taught to do that for an affordable price. All right, there we go. Got great questions here. Hey, Norma, what's going on? Thanks for joining uh, hey, FFL, protect what matters. David, will you have time for a new question today? Yeah, sure, Gene, go for it Go for it and ask, and then I'll try to do my best. If not, I'll defer to one of my uh, pros to assist. Hey, guys, are you looking around for a final expense opportunity and all of them seem kind of scammy or wishy-washy? Do you feel like you don't want to go to Kool-Aid drinking rah-rah events or waste your time in endless morning conference calls and you just want to go out and sell and produce and not have to recruit the whole world who has a pulse? If that's you, then I want you to go to my website to learn more about how my program works to help those of you agents out there, newer experienced, become top producers, not recruiters, producers selling final expense and how I've helped tons of agents do exactly what you're looking for. I help agents across the country sell final expense. It has been a focal point of my career for many years, and I am dedicated now at this point in my life to those agents out there who believe mastery of final expense is important and want to work with someone who has the street cred and experience selling final expense. So here's how you learn more about how my program works. Go to davidduford.com, click the button at the top that says uh, Join Dave's Agency, and there you'll see all sorts of content that will describe to you how my final expense program works and give you the opportunity to figure out if what I do makes sense for you. So check that out, daviddufour.com. Go to the button that says join Dave's agency to learn more. Thanks for watching. See ya.